Tonight, a Kansas City woman faces a long recovery after the deadly parade day shooting. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Katz. She was trampled as people ran to safety that day. As KABC tonight's Andy Alcock reports, she now faces a challenging financial future. Alexandria Springfield was rushed to the hospital that day with a badly broken leg and ankle, but she also feels lucky to be alive. It was a beautiful day and joyous occasion. Alexandria was tossing a football around with kids. I don't normally get out to big, large events, but I wanted to celebrate the Chiefs that day. It all changed for Alexandria, her friend Paula and her sister Ladacia when they heard what they thought were celebratory fireworks and then realized it was gunfire. Nobody in my group knew exactly where the shots were coming because everybody was running in different directions. This picture shows a nurse in a chief shirt and a police officer coming to Alexandria's aid after she tripped, fell, and was being trampled. Alexandria says if it wasn't for the work of that police officer and others protecting her, she might have lost her life. He was a guardian angel, to be honest. Alexandria is using a loner wheelchair after a major surgery. She's facing up to eight months of recovery. But considering more than 20 people were shot that day, including Lisa Lopez Galvin, fatally, Alexandria is grateful to have the chance to recover. I was saved by the grace of God. Alexandria had just started a job when the parade day shooting took place. Now she faces months without being able to work and uncertainty about how to make ends meet. At Union Station, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Alexandria's friend Paula has set up a GoFundMe page for her, and you can find it on our website, KMBC.com.